Okay, welcome guys. I would want to show you how to put features in issues or remarks in the report form. Uh, like for example, I need to have a field here in issues. So I take my rebo here, take my rebo and write in issues. In issues. In issues. Then can just make it vivid format. Yeah, I make it vivid. Those are the marks. So what I need to do is to take uh, unbound control, that is a text box, and then uh, assign it here. So before I do that, you need to uh, create a table. Therefore, I create a table. This is the table with the teacher ID, which is auto number. Then you have teacher 1, teacher 2, teacher 3, teacher 4, up to teacher 8. The way I have made it, you see the table is in issues. Then, guys, after doing that, I needed to feed the teacher in issues inside the table. You see what I have done? Teacher 1, the initials are BN. Teacher 2, that way. Teacher 3, DX. Uh, sorry, DX, like that. And this one is MM. So, after having created this table here in issues, like that, uh, I need to... Uh, go and use DLOOKUP to do that. So guys, I needed to go to report design up here, then take a text box, then draw a text box here, where I need the in issues. Then you remove the label of the text box. Then inside the text box here, uh, inside it, I will type equals D, that is D lookup, D lookup. Then the lookup wizard should be check for the field. The field is called T1, that is teacher 1. Where is it checking from? It is checking teacher 1 from a table called in issues uh, that way. Then you cross the bracket. So guys, uh, if you want to see this formula, you just go to property sheet here. Then this is the formula, guys. So it is D lookup uh, teacher 1 from in issues. Then I can just copy this for uh, respective text boxes. So after doing that, I can draw another text uh, another text box here. That is for the next subject here. Then I remove the label, I paste the formula there. But this time round, I change that one to teacher two. So this one becomes teacher two. Again, I take the text box and draw here. For the next teacher, I remove the the rebel, then paste my formula, change that one to uh, teacher three. Then after doing that, I repeat the same thing. Again, I remove the the rebel there, then paste it there. Then this one becomes. I just go to teacher one, two, three, teacher four. Then we draw. For the next teacher here, the next teacher is teacher 5. So I paste that one, but then I change this one to teacher uh, 5, like that. Then we do the next one and change that one to teacher. The next one mm -hmm. here, we change that one to teacher 6. Teacher 6. Then there, guys, you can just edit this by holding shift, click on it, click on it, click on it, click on it, then just go to format up there. Then you can just have it to Arabrak. Guys, in case you are new in this video, just scroll down or just go to description zone. You will see the videos or links of the videos on how I did the whole exam system. Uh, basically, for now, I'm just trying to show you how to put the in issues. So after doing that one, guys, you need to go back to uh, the report form filter here. Then you just go and produce a report form. Like now, I need to produce report form for term two. Then we can see what happens. So guys, you can see uh, I have been a position to populate the I have been a position to populate the in issues from the table there. Therefore, different subjects are taught by different teachers, and therefore these are the teachers' initials or names. 
Therefore, in case you also need to produce the teacher's names, for example, if I just check which term here, we are in term two. So uh, if I change the initials to teacher's name, like this, this one can be uh, Joyce, teacher Joyce. This one can be teacher Agatha. This one can be teacher Tom. This one can be teacher Minor. So uh, this one can be teacher Sirem. This one can be teacher Jonas. So if now I go to produce the report from guys, I got to report from filter here. You can just go to 2022 uh, form one class Uganda and then semester two. So if I produce the report form like that and then cross this one, you see now uh, this one is for Gilbert Ruto. This one yeah, is taught by Joyce Agatha Tom ETC. So guys, that is how you can use DRUCAP uh, wizard to populate uh, initials from a table. So guys, remember to subscribe, remember to like my videos, and also remember to comment so that I can be in a position to know the next video that I can do. Thank you very much.